I think it'll stabilize the market. So I think provided they can sell it and make it work, and that's going to be quite tough, I think that it gives us a breathing space. Long term, difficult choices for Britain. I mean, it seems to me that we seem to celebrate the idea that instead of being inside Europe in a two-speed Europe, shaping its institutions which will affect our future, we choose to be on the outer lane, leaving others to shape our future for us, that the best we can expect for in the future is a postcard from the 17 who run Europe, how they're going to change um, the, organi the arrangements for our future. I'm not sure that's a position I'd want to celebrate very much. Look, here's the bottom line. There's now going to be a two-speed Europe, almost certainly. We have chosen, we are going to be in the outer ring, we have decided that not only will the outer ring, but we'll also, I think, largely be ignored, whatever the Prime Minister says. Others will make the arrangements which will affect our future, but we won't be in there making them. You know, that's fine if you're Sweden. It's fine if you're Switzerland. It's fine if you're Norway. But I just have greater ambitions for our country. We should be leaders, not people whose decisions, whose future is shaped by others. There would be nothing to stop the 17 now taking the decision that all European bond, euro bonds would be traded and denominated in a European institution. Goodbye London, hello Frankfurt. Is that what we want? I, look, I understand why we are where we are. This is good news in the short term, but it takes Britain back to the fundamental decision of the Treaty of, euro, of Rome in 1957. Do we want to be inside an institution that shapes the future which we are affected by, or do we want to be outside it? We took the wrong decision in 1957. I fear we may be on our way to taking the wrong decision again.